So this is really it, though. I'm surprised I actually really like this game so much. Like, let's let's. I'm kind of sad that I have to end it, though. It's been a very long journey, but it's been quite the fucking journey. That's for damn sure. And the destination that we've reached there, simply fantastic. Do I have to turn off the game now? <laughs> is this what happens in my Super Nintendo? Did I... Over. <laughs> I forgot that we're still metallic robots even after all these years. Uh, well, not all these years. Yeah, even after all these time-traveling escapades. Travels together ends here. Entry. Base. Cora. Marvin. Let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. PSI, farewell. Now. I'll see you again someday. In Earthbound 2. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, we don't talk about that, do we? Huh? Aw, he gave us presents, too! Or is that Jeff? Cora, Face. It was great to hang out with you guys. I, it really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of those theories that I've been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If... just maybe... well... If you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm gonna stay here for a while, so, and see if I can learn more from Dr. Antidotes. I mean, from my dad. So, <laughs> it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Face, will you escort me home? Nah! Uh oh, oh. <laughs> I like that they gave me the option to say no. Nope. Well then, I'll escort you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You know, I think I'm usually against um best friends who are couples, but uh, I think in the case of Ness and Paula, they do make a cute couple, I guess. Um, <laughs> I like how it doesn't matter. Wait, <laughs> someone the present? There's a letter from kids inside. Dear Cora, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. <laughs> me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the pre -star, post star preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the post star preschool. Base opened the present. There's a letter from mom inside. Base, how are you? 
Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat cheese as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal weird evil character. What was it? Googie? <laughs> or something like that? Well, it sounds really great. I want you to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Kenya, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. This has been a really fun game. Based on the present. There's a letter from Tony inside. Okay. Tony, what do you got in store? Dear Marvin, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you to your, your adventures, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face again. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. XO, XO, XO. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone! <laughs> Too late! Uh, it was fun to hang out together. Yeah, it was. So, wait, do I have to actually walk the way there? Can I use my... I guess I could, but... You know... I should escort the lady home. I don't want the ride to be over that immediately, so... Oh, fuck. You guys know the directions to, uh... You guys know the directions to, uh... The place, right? Do I have to fight more enemies here? That's me. Well, I guess this is the post show after all. Our journey back home. Back to Mother. Back to Earthbound. <laughs> um. Is there gonna be one last uh, photo with uh, pictures taken instantaneously or something like that? Uh, let me try to remember my way back home. You guys, you, you know the way home, right, Paula? Paula? You know anything? No? Well, we're fucked then. <laughs> um, well, it's just... We're stranded in the middle of nowhere. Just you and me. <laughs> okay, I guess I've ever seen that Nintendo Flash or something like that? Where it's like, Ness and Paul are just alone with two dead corpses from Pooh and Jeff. <laughs> something like that. It's very creepy. But it's very quick and... <laughs> and Paul is like the demonic one, not Ness, so... That's the twist. Spoilers, by the way. Speaking of spoilers, holy fucking shit, is everyone just... talking about the recent Star Wars flick and just saying whatever the fuck happened? I, I, at least I don't give a shit about Star, War, Star Wars, so I could care less, but... Jesus fuck, like, why go through all the stupid... It's not like that, but considering how I'm mentioning Star Wars right now, I'm pretty sure someone in the comment section is probably gonna spoil it. That's fine, because I'm just gonna delete that comment, and yeah. <laughs> Because I already know what happens, it's just that I don't give a shit about it, and I really don't give a shit about what Star Wars has to offer. Because, you know, uh, Star Wars, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fun, it's just, I don't think I'm gonna give that much detail to it, but at the same time, like, holy fucking shit, like, let people have their fun, why are you just, why are you, it's like you're trying to give people a bad time when it comes to Star Wars or something like that. Like, why would you want to do that anyways? Oh, should we walk the way there, or should we, uh, we're a third now, so... Tuoson is the place where Paula lives, right? Yeah, we'll just walk the way there. It's gonna be a cute ride, anyways. So, yeah, um... Yeah, this game. Since beginning to end, it has quite the simple premise, but at the same time, such an endearing story that's also very simple as well. It has a great moral... Great gameplay as well, like, how has any- How come no other game has taken any more inspiration from fucking Earthbound? Like, holy shit, it baffles me that no one has any, ever taken any tips from this game. I know apparently there are some games that did that, like Undertale apparently has a huge inspiration from uh, Earthbound. I'll definitely check that out as soon as pos- uh, not as soon as possible. I think I'm gonna let time simmer before I play Earthbound and Undertale so I could really get a fresh mind on once I deal with Undertale, but I really, really hope to God Undertale is as good as everyone is saying it is because so far from what I'm seeing so far, everyone, and I mean everyone, has nothing bad to say about Undertale whatsoever. And I really hope that's the case because I really hope- Base, thank you for escorting me home. There's something I want to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Uh, not a goodbye kiss before we- okay. 
forever alone, Ness. But uh, yeah, I really hope Undertale lives up to the hype because if it really disappoints me, it's gonna be a huge sting because like everyone, and I mean everyone's been looking forward for me playing this game and everyone's been saying it's such an amazing game. And I really hope it is because I really don't want this to be, I'm pretty sure it's really good. But I really hope it's not as good as everyone says it is. I mean, I wish I was, it's as good as everyone says it is because if it's not as good as everyone says it is, that's just gonna be really disappointing for me. So, I really hope Undertale is really good. Maybe it's gonna be number one on my next year's list, who knows. Assuming I actually finish it on time. I don't know, how long is Undertale anyways? It's an RPG, so I'm assuming it's gonna take like, what, 60 hours, 30 hours, who knows. Huh, but anyways, yeah. This has been Earthbound. It's kinda sad to see that this game is already ending now. But, on it. My hometown. Fucking police try to kill me? Holy shit, remember that? Remember the time where I had all the police brutalities that... Apparently in order for me to get to, to Osan, I have to beat a bunch of policemen. Otherwise they'll beat the shit out of me. What the fuck? Uh, Satoru Iwata, oh my god. This was the- oh my god, I keep forgetting. This was the year that Iwata died. I really don't want to bring him back, back bad memories, but... He truly was an inspirational man, and... The fact that he had something to do with Earthbound as well? Uh, this game has to be number one. If I'm making the best list, this has to be number one. I don't, I don't think there's any other game that could match up to this caliber whatsoever. It is so... It is definitely... Is it my best game ever? I, have, I honestly have no idea. I think it's up there, definitely. This is definitely one of the best games I've ever played so far. Wow, you become such a strong young man. I like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all, your chats with people you met and your adventure are finally over. Please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Tracy, you got anything to say? It's been a wild adventure for me. Goody! My brother's back! You've got a lot of catching up with your schoolwork, York! You got any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Despite being your younger <laughs> sister. Don't get freaked out. Did Escargo Express my whole company help you? Definitely. I've saved some money, so we'll do the Yes! Money from me, by the way! <laughs> uh, you also got a new girlfriend! <laughs> your adventure must be pretty good, too. You need anything to your schoolwork? Anything other than- Yes? Oh yeah, I could- You know, none. <laughs> Here, save this letter from- Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. And I guess you could also keep this letter from- Oops. Keep the letter from the kids as well. Oh, I said take care. <laughs> I just slipped out of my best. Just actually, there's this one more person I'd like to talk to before we go back to bed. Assuming that's where the game ends. Oh, Kenya, what do you have to say? Other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know you guys saved the world. <laughs> uh. Hi, it's your dad. To get to the next level, <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday base. No, it's not. My birthday's on March, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to, I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'm sure to get you a great present. I've been following your adventures so closely, but I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you home then. And no more safe states. Mom, where'd you put my photo album? I want to see all my uh, pictures in glory. How do I beat the game? <laughs> oh god, this is the most difficult part about the game. Trying to beat it. Trying to figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do afterwards. Did you finish everything you wanted to do? Okay. Now you can finally share your incredible experiences. You did so well.
I love the music as well. It's, it has such a blend of like multiple different genres and psychedelic music. I'm surprised that I actually like this, so many psychedelic music in this game. Were well, there some bullshit on the way? I had to review, definitely. <laughs> this is the credits, so we're done. We're done with Earthbound, surprisingly. Picky Minch. Fuck those two. Larn Dumb Minch and fuck you too, Pokey. Fuck you. Picky's the only good guy here. Oh, Buzz Buzz. Oh man, I forgot about him. Oh. Things that he's got. Frank Fly. Lear X Guard. <laughs> the Nazis. The Sharks. I mean. B.H. Perkle. <laughs> Think of the doo doo. Doo doo. Oh my god, this is the Onet theme, isn't it? Captain Strong. The, the Onet Police. I'm gonna try to kick my ass and shit. Cora's mom. Cora's dad. Cora? <laughs> oh, the fluffy teddy bear. I forgot about that. The ones that. Same orange kid is a piece of shit. You used to be fine, but now you used to be fucking. T now you're terrible. Alpha kid, Mr. Everdread. <laughs> the one right. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> and the Ku Klux Klan, I forget. The happy happiest. What the fuck is Pokey doing back here? Get the fuck out of here! You don't deserve to be in the cra Yeah, fuck you! Bubble monkey. Tony and Maxwell, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's Jesse! Oh, it's like a great reminder of our fucking adventures together. Rick Rowe, oh my god, he, yeah. It also has a silly, adventurous type of yearning as well. Like, weird things happen, but you kind of just accept them because it's a video game. <laughs> oh, those are a lot of Saturns. <laughs> they even have like that fucking font as well. Master Belch. Oh my god. It's hard to believe that I just beat now. It feels like. It feels like just yesterday that I first played the game. Holy shit. Hello, Rama. Oh my god. He's the monkey that taught me how to teleport. What the f? Get out of here, Pokey! Get the fuck out! There's- oh yeah, Vita's- where's the prostitute? <laughs> uh, Carlo, aka Pooh, if you want to call him that. Carlo's master. The star master? Holy shit, I remember him. Dungeon man, oh yeah. There was one that looks like a devil. What the fuck is the Saturn doing here? <laughs> uh, huh? Flying men. Oh, wait! I only killed three of them, right? Uh, and, oh yeah, these guys. The NPCs of the world. <laughs> the swimsuit guys as well from Last Summers. The doctors. The poor guy. The shy guy. The one that looks like an orange kid for some reason, Kenya, and Dad never even shows up, he's just a fucking phone. That's our credits. It's not even actual real people, it's just the people in the game. Uh, where should Gitsato be Toy's name? Is there an actual credits, or is that really it? Is this going to actually take a picture of me in the Wii U gamepad? No. <laughs> no. I don't think the Super Nintendo is actually that powerful, unless they did something with the virtual console. Okay, here's the actual credits and not just characters on the game. Oh, the first time we ventured out in the wild. I remember that. The first time we arrived in, uh... Osan. I think this is a very good tribute for me to uh, honor his presence. Yeah. 
this has been quite the journey. Oh yeah, and there's one where we didn't even take a picture of me. It's just me. It's just Jeff and the bubble kid or the bubble monkey. Uh. There's us visiting the cemetery with a bunch of ghosts. That was scary, wasn't it? Was that really just like last year? When the fuck did I start this game exactly? Holy shit. There's the waterfall. We had to wait for three fucking minutes. That was weird, wasn't it? Let me let me see my hold on, let me see my playlist. Like holy shit, what was the last time I fucking What was the first ever episode of Earthbound? <laughs> there was us drinking tea. Smooth, smooth tea, holy shit. Uh, Earthbound word. Pretty much close. That was only in May? Holy fuck. It feels like an eter it feels like just yesterday that I just played this game. Like holy shit. Man. This has been quite the fun ride. And I'm so glad that I actually beat the game before 2015 ends so that I can actually put this game on the list. Because god knows, if this thing was competing against Undertale and Metal Gear Solid 5, sheesh. Uh but yeah, this is the end. I'm kind of saddened by it too, because I really want to play more of this. But at the same time, I feel like my judgment for this game will just affect it too much when I play Undertale, or hell, even Mother 3 once that releases. If it even releases. Uh, I can always play by the fan translation, I guess, but it just doesn't feel the same, isn't it? Doesn't it? Shigesato, okay? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Uh, yeah, these are the fantastic people that created such a fantastic game. Hironobu, Kagui, Shigeki, Yamashiro. Those are the hardware supporters. And there's the coordinators, the Takashi Watanabe, Ryo, Kagawa. I don't know how to pronounce any of these fucking names. Uh. Special thanks for the music demonstration, definitely. Those are amazing. Special thanks to those guys. I don't know what the fuck they did, but they're being thankful, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, December 12 minus 5. It took me seven months to beat this game. Holy shit. What the... <laughs> For a second there, I thought this said Sega Cole Lid or something, not Set, but Seta. The producers wish to thank these guys. Marcus Limpl I've heard of that name before. Marcus. What, what else that did Marcus do exactly? I could have sworn I saw this that name before. Marcus Limbomb? Limblom, sorry. Your Miyamoto is a supervisor for this game. People at Nintendo, holy shit. How could you hate such a company like that? Well, aside from the obvious YouTube copyright bullshit. But aside from that, like... Honestly, how can you hate Nintendo? With their personality and with the way they present their... Can't you spoke to me? And... Is it my name? Player. Aaron. <laughs> That's really cute. I like that the game acknowledges me as well. Oh man. So that was Earthbound. Holy shit. Is it like New Game Plus or what? I was like, can I actually see my fucking dad for once? You deadbeat son of a bitch. Uh, but that was uh, Earthbound. Also someone knocked in the door, please. Huh, was that it? Yeah, hold on, oops, sorry, my controller. There we go. Is this gonna stay like that, or... Oop. Is that it? I think that's it, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Hey, right, so there's pizza. Oh, my text disappeared. Oh. What? <laughs> Hello, is there... <laughs> 
Dad, uh, my adventure's over. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea for you to take a break? Well, first off, I need to understand what the fuck this. <laughs> I saved Dad. Is that annoying knock coming from Pokey again? Uh, what's going on here? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock? Pokey, what the fuck are you doing here? My land. Who can be not exactly? Dog is. Oh, it's Picky, not Pokey. Oh, can't fool me. A letter from my brother Pokey. It is addressed to base. There's no stamp. It was no time to for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, "Come and get me." Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. Ugh. Pokey, you never fucking learn, do you? The end. Dot, 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 question mark. In Earthbound 2. Uh, never, they never made a sequel to uh, Earthbound, have they? Uh, oh, I know people say, oh, Mother 3 is the, is the uh, a sequel to Earthbound, but... This doesn't appear on Mother 3, does he? At least I don't think so. Is that it? <laughs> Or is the screen gonna... That's it, then. <laughs> That's gonna be very interesting. Ah, uh, I am... <coughs> excuse me. I imagine all the Earthbound fans back in, like, 1995 who picked up this game and played this game and finished it through for the first time, beating the game and seeing this end screen. is like, oh, I can't wait for Earthbound 2, and it never arrives. Uh, ever. Unfortunately. Ugh. Nintendo, you really need to get, make that shit. With the, all your amazingness, you gotta fucking localize Mother 3. You're like, holy shit. It's been a long time for a while now, and that would be just one of the biggest news you, you've got. You acknowledge it, obviously, with your Smash Bros. and your stupid robot chicken thing. So clearly, you gotta do it, right? Okay, so that was the Earthbound Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the future of my Let's Plays. This is Bass Singer, signing out.